Hey guys, welcome back for another Weekly Grind video. This week we're doing the global side of Dokkan Battle, where we're going to be going over all the current events and banners that are up. So first things first, we have the Otherworld Tournament that's currently available. Yes, it is back. The event is a little bit different this time than it was the last time. Um, so it was reset with that. Um, so you can go ahead and regrind out the Dragon Stones. As you see over here, there's three stages. Um, you have the Goku, which is free to play. You grind from stage one. You have Goku medals from stage two and Pycon medals from stage three. The medals, like, I mean, the, the actual event itself is a little bit different. Uh, before there was a level where you would go, you would fight against like King Cold, Cell, and Frieza, I believe it was. And then after you fought them, you would take a path to the left and to the right and either fight Pycon or fight Goku. Um, that is no longer there. Stage 3, you just fight Cell. Um, actually, Stage 3 is a really good stage to grind out because you get these Pycon uh, headband things over here, this, this weighted training. That's really good for LR for LR grinding and LR training, so I highly, highly, highly recommend you grab those while they are available. Um, you have to beat the stage like 20 times, so if you already did it last time around, just go ahead and do Stage 3. If you're new, um, the free-to-play Goku is cool and all. Um, I You don't really need him. I don't think he's that great, but he is very rare to come by. So if you want to do it just because, you know, he you don't have him and you're a collector uh, of cards, then definitely grab him, get him Super Attack 10. Um, but other than that, I mean, I don't think he's really that great of a card. Um, he does Doken Wake into an SSR, so you can do do pads. I might do that. Uh, I don't I don't know if I will or not, but I might do that. He's really not that great. Uh, but again, Stage 2, Goku Metal, Stage 3, Pycon Metals. The Goku, when he Doken Awakens, his passive skill is high chance of key plus 2, attack plus 80%. So as you see, it's really not fantastic. Um... That's really it. I mean, <laughs> uh, the you, you need the Janemba medals, the Pycon medals, and Gogeta medals for the Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku. Now, if you pulled him, he is a really awesome card. Um, definitely one of the better units that have come from this spell. Well, actually, I think he's the best unit, in my opinion. Uh, key plus 3, attack plus 100% when HP is 50% or above. I mean, I wish that that was like 30% or above, but he's still a really hard hitter. He has some really good link skills if you were able to pull him, so definitely get him Doken Wake. And Pycon, another really good one. He actually fits on a Super Saiyan 4 Goku team. Uh, actually pretty damn well. <clears throat> he links well with everyone. Um, he does some decent damage. He attack plus 70% uh, and all enemies defense minus 30%, so you do a little bit extra damage to them. Everyone on the team, while he's on the field, does extra damage to them. So it's not bad. It really is a pretty damn decent card. Plus, um, I forgot something on the super. I think he does like additional damage on the super. But yeah, he's a really good unit. So definitely get out the Goku medals in order to Doken Wake him as well. He is farmable by using the Strike Pycon. So if you want to go and farm him up to Super Attack 10, I still have yet to do that on any of my Pycons just because I don't want to do that grind. It's just a pain because uh, I don't have a lot of agility medals left. <laughs> So, uh, just trying to grind him. I'm going to be feeding in a 5% SR, and I really just, I'm not doing that grind for no reason. Um, but yeah, those are uh, the actual headbands that he has that you can get from this event. 1 million experience, use a double, and they'll just, it, you will get your guys up really, really fast. Um, so yeah, definitely go ahead and do that. Oh, that end, it just came out actually today, but it ends July 6th, so you have some time. But definitely, I highly recommend you grinding it out. Tomorrow... The Genius of Bulma Battle Prep ends, which means tomorrow night or th yeah, Thursday night, technically, or Friday morning, is when the World Tournament starts. Um, I'm going to do a separate video on that. I'm actually probably going to do it later on tonight, just because we have more information about the World Tournament and everything. Um, and I did all my Dragon Ball Legends training videos. But Bulma's Battle Prep is here. Go ahead and run it. There's a couple more um, hours left of that. So definitely go ahead and grind it out while you can. Um, actually, we have a full freaking day left of that. What am I talking about? A couple hours. You have 24 hours left. Go grind that out. Um, definitely worth it to get some rare items like Sensu Beans and Icaruses if you don't have them. Uh, next one is going to be the Bio Broly event is here till 629. You have nine more days before that goes away. Um, this is where you can go and farm out the free-to-play Krillins and the free-to-play uh, Bio Broly's. Krillin drops as an Awakened SSR or Z Awakened SSR or Z Awakened SR technically. So um, you can actually feed him into the Baba Shop Krillin if you want to try and get him up to Super Attack 10. I don't even think I got this guy up to Super Attack 10 because he's really not worth it, in my opinion. Maybe he'll get a Doken Awakening one day. Maybe the Bio Broly event will come back and it will, like, like in the future with new Dokens and everything like that. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. Uh, but right now, he is available to do that. Bio Broly is also available. He's a really good tank. He's not really that useful on a team. Um, I, I haven't really seen him run on a team. I know a lot of people have rainbowed him just because it's funny, but um, don't do that, please. <laughs> Save your orbs or something better. But his passive skill is unique. Defense plus 70%, attack minus 50% when facing one enemy. Uh, and then when facing two or more enemies, it's attack plus 70%, defense minus 50%. So 
So pretty much he is a tank. He's always getting the defense plus 70% buff as long as you're going up against one enemy. So if you're like, if you need a filler unit, definitely go in there with him. And if you're going to do um actual uh, dupe system, bottom left dupe path most likely because that's a defensive one. And you can give him more defensive traits so that way when he when he has his defense plus 70% active, he will take less damage. When he Doken Awakens, it's defense plus 100% as well. And attack plus 100% when we're facing two or more enemies. So he yeah, he is a really good tank. Um, the, the medals pain in the butt to grind. You got to get the Bio Broly medals, the Go 10 medals, the Trunks medals, and the Android 18 medals. Uh, also from this event, this hot garbage uh, Android 18 gets a Doken Awaken from this event. She's not good at all. I think she actually got a Doken Awaken as soon as the event came out. But yeah, she's not good at all in my opinion. I think she's a horrible unit. I've talked about her. Talked about her links and everything like that. She's not good. I mean, get her Doken Awaken if you want to. Um, you can get her Super Attack 10 if you want to, but she's really just not that great. Um, the Goten and the Trunks both get Doken Awakenings. Highly recommend, even if you do not have these units, to get the medals from this event to order, order to Doken Awaken them. These two units are so awesome. I'm not even kidding you. Attack plus 90% when they Doken Awaken and attack plus 100% when performing a super attack. These two are so awesome. Definitely, definitely just grind them out. I think you need seven of each. Um, in terms of the event, Hercule Statue is stage one. The Goten and Trunks medals are on stage two. The Android 18 medals are on stage three. Krillin's drop on stage four. And Bio Broly and Bio Broly medals are on stage five. So definitely go ahead and do that up while it's here. And if you haven't done it, that's uh, I think that's 10 Dragons. Yeah, that's 10 Dragon Stones for you. So that ends on the 29th. You have nine days left to grind that out. Go ahead and do that yourself a favor and do that. Um, we also have the Bardock event that's here. We already know about that. Um, I guess, let's see, he, his intelligence one that he, that's out right now, he gets his Doken Awakening from this. And also, if you're not aware, which I know most of you guys either know this or are aware of this, um, the Super Saiyan Bardock, the OG Super Saiyan Bardock, he gets a Doken Awakening to Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. I've had people tell me he hits for over 1 million when you get him maxed out in the dupe system. Easily attack plus 80%, supreme damage, defense plus 80%, so he tanks really well for five turns. So I heard that he's a really good, awesome unit for a mono and uh, agility team. So if you guys want to go ahead and do that, I, I, I'm still debating. I have all four dupes unlocked right now, but um, I'm still debating on whether I actually want to go and get give him all the dupe system. I do have the orbs for it, or if I want to wait to see if I get if there's any other better units. I know that Super Saiyan Blue uh, evolved form of Vegeta is coming out, and I definitely want to hold on to them for him at least. But yeah. That Bardock's really awesome. This runs daily until the 26th. You so have six more days to have this event every available every day. And then it'll only be available on Intelligence and Super Days. Um, next one is the Lone Warrior's Last Battle. This, this is really an event I've already talked about. There's really nothing special here except for the Awakening Medals for Bardock and Fasha. So if you want to go ahead and grab those medals for Bardock and Fasha, they become really good Doken Awakenings. Well, uh, Bardock's are really awesome, but Doken Awakening, I've always liked his, his Doken Awakening attack. was 100% when HP is 30% or above. Um, that's really cool. I hate the, the great ape mechanic myself, but he does go great ape if you guys like that. That's free, that's two free full turns without taking any damage and you just dealing some damage. So that's not horrible, especially if you have the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. If you have a double lead of that, when he comes into play, um, at least he'll have, was that, eight key. So you only need to get four key total in order for him to launch super attacks. That makes it so much easier for great apes. Um, Fasha is a key orb manipulator, so I just run her on my... Um, uh, my uh, world tournament team, LR world, my LR Broly team, because she helps uh, manipulate key orbs for him. So it's definitely good, and she's type to type, which is my favorite. So there you go for that. And then outside of that, there's really nothing else. I mean, the, you have the medals over here, the freeze of medals for the Bardock. Um, yeah, Bardock is going to be available on stage uh, level six, uh, six. Yeah, stage six. And then Fasha, you just need the Fasha medals, right? So Fasha medals are going to be available on stage one, and you're just going to need to choose the Fasha path in order to get them. Um, if you want to play be proactive, I don't think these other guys have gotten their Doken Awakenings yet. So go ahead and farm out. I know I did when that's when they when their Dokens first came out. Farm out the medals, the same amount of medals for all the other guys, so that when they do get their Doken Awakenings, if they ever do, um, you can go ahead and grab them and just Doken Awake them right off the bat. But um, outside of that, yeah, I mean all these all these farmable units, none of them are really worth it. I guess this rare Bardock can be used to increase the super attack of the LR Bardock when it comes out in the future, but I don't really think it's worth the grind. But you can if you want to. I'll just be using some Elder Kai's myself. Again, uh, so this ends on the 24th, so you have four more days left for that one. And yeah, go ahead and do the grind, just release for those medals, guys. Um, in terms of banners, the banner is here now for these guys. Now, th this is actually a really awesome uh, step-up banner that they have going on. 15 stones, you summon five characters, one featured uh, SSR. I did do that. No, it was not on camera. 
I uh, apologize because I know some of you guys like me to watch my uh, my summoning videos. I got the Agility Cell Angel. Now, um, I did not have him from last year. He was the only unit from last year that I did not pull of the SSRs. And uh, I'm very happy that I got him now. Now I have the full Other World Tournament team, which is awesome. Um, I also have the... Um, uh, they got like two or three of those uh, King Colts. I don't know if I got them with Super Tech 10, though. I didn't look. Um, you also get one extra Elder Kai for doing this. For 15 stones, I think one of them is worth it. Just remember that the anniversary is coming up in a couple of weeks. So don't go and waste your stones on that if, you are not, if you're free to play. So just keep that in mind. Maybe you could do the 15 st step up stone, but it's half of a multi summon. So the next one is going to be a 30 stone multi summon. One featured character is guaranteed. I know it's tempting, but save your stones if you don't pay for stones. On top of that, you'll get two Elder Kai's on the second one, so if you are hurting for Elder Kai's, that could be very beneficial. And step three is also really awesome. Another 30 Dragonstone multi-summon, but you're guaranteed to either get the Kaioken Goku or the Pycon. So, and you get two more uh, Elder Kai's on top of that. So that one is actually really freaking awesome if you're looking specifically for one of those two. Um, they're both really awesome units. As I said before, these two guys are such awesome units. I'm happy that I got Cell. Uh, Cell, I, I have never really used him. Well, actually, I've, no, duh, I haven't used him. I never actually looked into how awesome he is. Attack plus 15% is not that bad. So uh, I guess I'll have to go and, and look into him and see how good he can do and how much damage he can do. Uh, he's also technically an Android. I wonder how well he's going to do on a Super 17 team. So I guess maybe at some point I'll do a, a little bit of a team building guide for all these guys since they, they haven't been here for a year. Just to give an updated look at who they link with since there's a lot more units that are out. Um, but yeah, this uh, this summon banner ends on 7-5, July 5th, so you definitely have some time for that. You have about 15, 16 more days until that goes away. Um, you have the strength exclusive banner. This oh, Also, one more thing about this banner. There's no LRs on this banner. It's a specialty banner. Uh, there's usually never LRs on the specialty banners. I just want to clarify that just in case any of you were thinking if there's LRs. No LRs here. Uh, strength banner is available. It has the LR Broly on it. Um, runs until 621, so you have one more day. I'm not going to be summoning on it. You get two Elder Kai's per multi-summon. Um, you, I don't have the hit or the Kaba, but I never really tried to get them. But my teams are really OP anyway. I don't really need them. So, but yeah, they are here. These two are really good support units. The Goku is all right. He's decent. I, yo, he is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Even when he Doken Awakens, you know, he he's really decent. But uh, at the same time, I, I don't need him. There's a whole bunch of other stuff on here. All the uh, strength characters that you get are going to be um, max level. So that definitely benefits you as well. So you can save some training items if you're lacking there. Uh, if you're lacking Zenny for training too. Uh, but yeah, that runs until tomorrow if you guys want to do the summon on that. Next one is a Super Saiyan 3 banner. Runs until 626. You have six more days of that. That's with the new two, two new Vegetas. I shall not be going after them because while they are really cool, I have the two OG Vegetas and I personally like them better. Um, just my opinion on the matter. But uh, yeah, they are here and we are, I already did a full in-depth guide on that last week if you want to go check out that video. Uh, these guys are, are pretty awesome, not going to lie to you, but again, I have the two OG ones. I have some orb system put into them and everything, Dupes or Doken Awaken and whatnot. Um, so I'm, I'm just not going to bother with that. Uh, from this, though, because when this came out, we also have the Doken Awakenings for the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. If you guys haven't been following the Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku and the, the Vegeta that I was actually just talking about, they now get Doken Awakening. So make sure you go and take on the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta event. You need 35 medals from each of them for these two to Doken Awakening. Both of these guys are perfect for a Super Saiyan 3 team, especially if you're lacking characters for it. Um, they are both really, really awesome. Attack and defense plus 90% for each of these guys um, when they get their Doken Awakenings. And his super attack passive for Vegeta is defense plus 30% for three turns, and Goku is uh, raises attack for three turns. I was pretty sure that was 30% as well. So again, both of them are really awesome units. And last but not least, as always, the Super Saiyan 3 bar, like the Super Saiyan 3 leader, is here with the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku and the Omega Shenron on the banner. Now, um, that is available for six more days. This is actually a really, really good banner. Obviously, the new unit, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. You have the 120 Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which actually fits on this team. You have Omega Shenron, which is just a really good unit overall. Um, he's really good for a mono intelligent, I'm sorry, a mono physical extreme team. And was running a, a, a Shadow Dragon category lead, which is really awesome as well. Um, you also have the, uh, the, the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. Um, Trunks, Janemba. You, th these guys are like pretty much uh, some of these um, intelligence ones and the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta obviously not, but the Super Saiyan Trunks and Janemba are intelligence. Um, I don't think Jan Janemba would actually run the team. I'm pretty sure it's super um, strength that the intelligence Bardock does, but he does an attack and defense, uh, attack plus 90% or HP attack and defense plus 90% for intelligence units. So like when I did my team building guide, you saw me throw my LR Gohan on there 
or that I said I was using my LR Gohan. And that's because LR Gohan's a beast on that freaking team. I, I think the only one of my units that does not hit consistently for a million damage, um, or at least before he, you know, the damage reduction is taken into place, is the Super Saiyan 3 support unit, Goku. But that's okay, because he his before he actually, you know, strikes the enemy, he's doing 800,000 damage minimum. So that's pretty freaking epic. It's really awesome. But um, yeah, guys, that is it. That is the video for today. Again, I will be dropping another one uh, later on tonight about the World Tournament. And then I'm going to do a review of the other World Tournament um, stuff that's going on. Uh, there's nothing really too special about it, but I just want to do an update at Linking Guide, uh, at least for these guys, just because I feel like it kind of warrants it due to it not being here for a year. And uh, them, uh, there being a lot of new units out that they can link with. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I'll catch you all in the comments below. Peace.